Hey, one of the other questions that we had come up um, as we were working through it was um, in terms of the top five that we've come up with as a team, we noticed some common themes um, across the smaller groups, which made it uh, a little bit more straightforward, I think, in terms of finding our top five. Do you find that teams tend to, or, you know, when you work with groups, they tend to come up with a, there's some consistent um, feelings in their top five? Like, is, is there any kind of human nature in terms of what people tend to be drawn to? Yeah, good question. Uh, there's a couple of things with that. The, I don't see patterns, in a sense, because I've seen teams that have been really misaligned not in a bad way, but everybody's got different ones. So yeah. there'll be heaps of feelings out on the table when they have to then whittle it down. And then I've seen other teams. I ran a team with 30 people, six tables of five, and three of the tables had the exact same list of five. They ended up wow. coming up with it. But what the science and evidence will show around emotional contagion in groups is that our emotions are contagious. They We catch them like the common cold. So mm. that, that will definitely be at play within your teams. You can't see that because we catch them subconsciously and automatically. But because of that, naturally, people might end up feeling similar things. So then if they've got the language or seen the label or seen the card, they'll be able to pull that out to describe that. So there'll naturally be a bit of that that evolves that might or will influence what the team end up going for. Yeah, okay. But I've seen at both ends of the spectrums where, let's say, in a group of 10, so you had two groups of five, where they've had completely different lists. But then the challenge still is to then share each other's perspectives and reasons why and then come up with a consensus. Uh, and I don't control how they do that. I take a step back and say your challenge now is to is to now come up with what you think it should be for the whole team. Yeah. And you let them have that conversation and that debate and that really robust conversation about yeah. what's important. Well, they're all important, but what do we want to actually put out focus on and what labels? And sometimes people are just choosing different labels, but there's a similarity between the meaning behind it or what they're, what they're talking about. So then it comes down to that. Yeah, and I think we did experience a little bit of that in the team as well, where different people were essentially describing the same kind of thing, but using different words. Mm. So there was a bit of conversation around that, which was quite interesting as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the stuff that – those conversations that come out of – a gold for uh, people who are inquisitive and uh, under- and like to watch human behaviour and understand human behaviour. <laughs> yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, yeah, no, some teams are really closely aligned. Other teams I've seen really mixed. But I've never been in a situation where a team has said we can't get to a, top, a list of six or five or four. Uh, 